What you guys doing, YouTube? We out here having a good time. We're about to put some fish in the boat. Midwest fishing at its best. Fall time is here, folks. It don't get much better. We're gonna put some big fish in the boat with a hammer tin, sniping braid, and everything, and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Stay tuned. That's right guys, we're fall fishing and we're gonna put some fish in the boat today. I cannot wait to put the 10 footer to, to work. We're in an evening bluebird day. Absolutely about as bluebird. Look, check out these power poles go down. There they go. Now we got complete boat control. You guys can check those out at PTG, give them a holler. But I'm gonna tell you right now, late evening, sun's going down. We got about 30, 45 minutes, before I say 45 minutes left, and maybe an hour, hour. And uh, the sunset will be hitting us hard so we gotta see if we can get these fish awake. Uh, they've been waiting all day for us is what I think's been going on. So we're gonna put the hammer 10 to work. The crappie brakes are pushing us back right now. I'm gonna see if we can. So check out that school of fish right there. You guys got them right here? Check them out. I'm telling you right now, fall is for everything. It doesn't matter. Why we have a school of fish there, I have no idea, but those are definitely crappie. We got 76 degree water temperature, so the water temperature has definitely gotten cooler. This is late in the day now, mind you, so the sun usually hits it and it warms up. But look at these guys 22 feet away, and there I am dropping in on them. I'm gonna give you guys a really good here, see if I can manage this here. Look at them, they're just coming, and oh, we had one right there, but I let it go. Hold on. Check this out, we'll do it again. I can't make them hit it, but I can tell you I can put it right on them. And that was pretty darn close. Look at those guys must be feeding on that shad right there that's around the pile. This is proof that you can't all catch them all the time, but that should be a decent throw. Yeah, it's coming through on the side of them. So we won't be able to follow it, but there, there it is. We got one. Now I barely saw that on live scope guys, and I definitely didn't feel it. I was playing the fish and the way that he was acting on it, it's purely a experiencing out there on the water when you can pull and not have a bite. They're good solid fish. That is just the uh, monkey milk, blue monkey milk's been working really good, right? Look at this bait fish, crazy. Um, the point is, is that more time on the water, the better off and easier it's gonna be on you, no doubt about it. But in the fall time, I'm telling you, they're everywhere, 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 everywhere. It doesn't matter. Good fish right there. Good. We always give, we, we're giving them back. We're giving them back. So there's a lot of plastics on my website. And we talk about, you know, paddle tail versus minnow style. Why would you use one or the other? Get asked that question. Now, I am probably the biggest fan on this, your standard minnow style bait. This is crawdad right here, okay? This is a minnow style bait. This is what you might see from a company like Bobby Garland. You're gonna see those at Walmart all the time, okay? Everybody has them for the most part. I've got them, you can check them out. But this is your, I love the minnow style. For a flip, for a vertical jig, to me, it's ideal. Now, the blue monkey. A paddle tail. Let's talk about a paddle tail. There's a lot of versions of a paddle tails. A lot of companies have paddle tails. This is my paddle tail right here. Okay. This is blue monkey. Um, paddle tail is meant to be swam, but it can be pitched. It can be vertical jigged. It can do a lot of things, but it has that extra kick in its tail that allows it to do it. Now there's different versions. Here's one right here. Look at this. Now this is a minnow style that actually has a paddle tail at the end. So you gotta play around with things, decide which ones you'd like, but I usually, I usually either have a paddle tail or a minnow style. Now there's a lot of different shapes to these jigs, right? I think this is a Mr. Crappie jig, but a lot of variety. So I, I rarely do use the curly tails. I can show you a curly tail here, simple curly tail. This guy right here. I, I use this is like shallow for me this is the spawning type deal this is where I want to keep the bait up in the th two to three foot range and I want to keep it really up high and that paddle tail actually gives it the the ability to stay very high up in the water column so this is a great spawning bait but it's and it's I'm sure it's a great everything bait but for me that's the only time I actually use it and the paddle tail is my everyday guy now 
I'll give a shout out to Brush Pile Jigs because I do like these little darts they have. Those are pretty cool. Um, kind of a kind of a different variety of the minnow style, although it's not even looks like a minnow. It just looks like a little dart. But I think smaller is better, especially when the bite's hard and um, you need something a little different. And so, but anyway, that's a rundown. We got the old hammer tin. Beautiful rod with the sniping braid. And we got new reels, three pound fishing reels are coming out there. I will mention this, um, and we're gonna get back to fishing real quick, that there are new, uh, some new gray tees uh, with three pound fishing tackle and three pound fishing rods on it, on the website. So check them out at threepoundfishing.com. They just were added to the website. People don't know about it yet. Um, we're trying to keep them for the winter time. Um, they'll probably be sold out quickly, but they're gray tees that just look tight. Now look at this small little group. They're, these guys are 20 feet deep, deep. Look at that. Release my bait all the time. Always to be quick about it. Know where your bait's at. I know where it's at now. Even though I can't see it, I know there it is. Oh, ho, 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 baby. So you're not gonna see your bait all the time. You'd love it to be clean, but it doesn't happen all the time, especially if you're moving around a lot. Look at this stump here. This thing has got some fish around it. And sometimes those fish are good. So there it is coming in from behind. Perfect view right here. We gotta get him excited. So we're gonna speed it up and then we're gonna pull and he, I missed it. And there's a good looking group right down there. Sometimes I kick it just like that. There they are, and I got one. Deep too. Beautiful. Just a small eater, but man, that was fun. All right, guys. You know, I haven't talked about it enough, but I'm gonna talk about it real quick. Your nets. This is a hog fishing net right here. This means, what does hog mean to me? It means that you can change the color of this guy to what exactly what you want to look like. I've got a red interior boat with black accents and gray. What do you think my net should look like? I think it should look just like that. You guys check out hog fishing. I love it. It looks awesome in your boat. Some people don't want to stand out and do those things with their, whatever, I get it, whatever you want to do. I want everything to match, that's me personally. But uh, we also have your, your standard silver, gray, black, hog fishing has it all. So check them out, I'm just gonna tell you, hogfishing.com, we don't talk about it enough, but that's very important. And uh, when you're on the tournament trail, and I do, if you're not following me on TikTok, I'm a little ashamed that you should be following me on TikTok. But uh, we talk about tournament fishing and all that stuff there as well. So. Check out Hog Fishing. They have six foot, they have three foot, they have the extensions, which is what I have in the boat right now. Yeah, check them out. Oh, we stuck a good one there, folks. Good solid eater right here. Check that out, good fish. Wow. There's got a lot of activity. Look at those guys. Those guys be big. Those guys be catfish, bass, everything. I'm still gonna throw in there and see if I can't catch one. What kind of angler would I be if I didn't try? They don't even go around them. Oh, we got one. Good fish. Good solid crappie right there, guys. Ooh. It was a light bite. We barely got the hook, but that's a solid crappie right there. Look at that sun setting right now. Got that thing setting on a, on a hammer tin. Best darn 10 footer out there. And no doubt, you guys wait till the new 13 comes out. It's gonna be insane how good it is. 
I can't wait to hit all the fishing shows. We are going to be hitting a lot of them. We've got this tournament coming up at Grenada. We're going to do that. Then, um, then obviously we we hitting the all these shows. Um, people need to people need to put these new rods in their hands and see what they're missing. So we're going to definitely be hitting that up. Sunset fish. All right, guys, we're gonna end it right here. Check out this this sunset right here. It's probably can't appreciate it, but it's pretty darn awesome. It's gonna get, keep getting better, but we're just trolling back to the cove, and I don't know. I don't know when this video is going to post. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Anyway, check out PTG. Those guys support three pound fish. I want you to support them. Hog fishing right there. Doesn't get much better. The Hammer 10 and the new 13 footer is going to be here soon. We're going to talk a lot about that new 13 footer. Everybody's going to be talking about that 13 footer. No doubt about it. But I uh, appreciate you guys. Keep watching three pound fishing. I appreciate you.